What is up everybody, welcome back. We're starting where we left off, we're here at Lone Mountain. We are on the newest software update and we're hoping you get it soon. It's 12.5.1.3, this is 2024.26.10, supervised full self-driving. Christy is at the wheel. Navigate to Lowe's. Let's see if we can get to Lowe's, 4.7 miles. We're gonna be taking the city streets and some highway streets. Let's go ahead and engage FSD. All right, let's go. One thing I want to mention, Christy, is whenever you see that little gray wheel for the FSD, when it's not lit up, that means you can engage it. Uh, sometimes you won't see it there and you might try to engage it, it'll just beep at you. So whenever you do see the gray wheel, it's, it's blue now because we're activated, but that's something to, uh, remember. to remember, yep. And it says, attention, monitoring, unavailable. Christy is wearing her sunglasses. And I tell you what, how can you drive without your sunglasses? I mean, we need that update like I ASAP. I cannot drive without my sunglasses. My yeah. eyes are way too light. The sun yeah. just, the green yeah, eyes. I need my, okay, let's see how this does going through right. this dip. Oh no, oh, oh no. <laughs> Woo, all right, nice little ride there. And it slowed down after the And it's, I don't know what happened there, but we disengaged FSC. Did yeah. you touch the wheel at nope. all? I don't, I did you hit the brake? It. Nope. Okay, Nothing. I'm not sure there. I feel like we might have bumped into something. But <laughs> with that being said, we got our first left turn coming up. 10 miles on route, 16 minutes. We're doing some city streets. We're doing some highway driving. And thank you so much for watching. Leave your feedback below. All right, we're creeping up. Christy, tell us when you think we're clear. Tell us what you see. I see cars coming from the other direction, but uh, I think we need to wait. So we got this guy turning in. We have a somebody making a left turn into this neighborhood. Yes, and right. somebody making a right turn. We're gonna let, just tell us when you think we're clear. All right. I think we are good to go. Perfect, perfect timing with FSD. So it's doing a really amazing job at pulling out of intersections now. It and does, it does really well. Very assertive, very smooth. Mm -hmm. Look how beautiful Lone Mountain is here. So you got a lot of hiking trails on the bottom and I've never hiked it, right? I don't know how you get up to the top. Oh. I want to say there's another entrance on the other side that you can walk up. That's um, Maybe that's we can do like hiking. a, yeah, maybe let's... a quarter hike or a half hike. I don't know how they- Oh no, <laughs> we go hiking. I will get you all the way to the top. <laughs> all right, we got our left lane merge blinkers on so smooth transitioning this guy's sitting a little bit far past the uh, creep yeah, line I would say he is, definitely. so smooth very smooth yes I love that acceleration too when it when it's accelerated enough to really turn on those motors and you can hear them kind of whining a little bit that's the type of acceleration I like these homes got yeah. some serious rooftop decks too. I saw one, it's pretty sweet. Very beautiful homes, Very yeah. beautiful, I love the boxy design. Nice. I don't know, this looks so mid-century. All right, we got our left I turn. Like it, yeah. Kind of going through some city streets here. This is also a new builder here on the right. The estate's in Lone Mountain. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, these homes, I, I gotta double check, but I wanna say they're probably sitting on half acre home sites out here. Just gorgeous. That's Third like acre, half acre. Decent parcel land. Absolutely. Half acre. We're doing 38 and the 25. We got the auto max set speed offset. Christy, let's check and see what settings we have for assertive and average. So we do it's have an average. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put in assertive and leave on leave off uh, minimal lane changes as well. With this new version, I feel like I don't have to use the minimal lane changes as much. I feel like it does a better job holding this lane. 
and not. I agree with you. Yeah, you yeah. missed it a while back, but months ago it would just go left lane, right lane, left lane, right lane. It just <laughs> kept changing lanes, like it didn't know where to go. And then the blinker would be phantom blinking left, left, left when it's not even turning left. So we've come a long way. In. Well, I kind of experienced that in my car. Yeah, a little bit with 12.3.6. Yes. Yep. <laughs> exactly, but not to the point where it was before. 12.3.6 was actually a huge improvement when we got it. But uh, now with this one, we're really pushing the boundaries of full self-driving here. All right, we got our left lane coming, our left turn coming up. We do need a creep. I cannot see left or right. Christy, tell us when you She's think we're clear. Out. She's creeping on her own. Yeah, just let us know when you think we're clear. Well, I'm clear this way. Yep, we're good to go. Yep, clear both sides. Yes. Assertive pulling out, no hesitation. I love it. You know what I do like is when it does make turns like that, it actually stays in the middle of the lane it's turning into. A lot of cars will go off over into the opposite lane, you know. Yeah, no, so. perfect example. Yeah, like most yeah. human driving, human beta drivers, they kind of cut a couple lanes. Where FSD is always driving in the same lane, it's very, very predictable. Precise. Yeah, very precise. And that's where we need to be for a robo taxi world. All the cars yes. precise, all of them following the same idealistic rules. And you know, no more accidents after that. It actually did really well right there too, because that was another one of those lanes with mm -hmm. the lines in it. Yeah. Very smooth transition in the turn lane as well. Maybe a little bit slow, cautious there, but uh, amazing. Which is good. Yeah, sometimes you want to be cautious. Sometimes on this update, I'm wondering if it's even being cautious because sometimes it'll just pull out of an intersection and you're like, holy smokes, I couldn't even see it. Like, where is the blind spot? Or the acceleration is like, whoa. Yeah, some good acceleration. I want to say it hesitated just a little bit there on the... It did, yes. Yep, we're still in the V12 stack, by the way. Now we're on the V11 stack with the offset, so we went from V12 to V11. Now we're not full end to end yet, Christy, on the freeway, so the stack on the city streets is different than the stack on the highway. One day though, pretty soon, we should have the V12 merge into the highway, and then it'll feel very human-like. Right now, it's still a little robotic on the freeways. Changing the faster lane. And again, we have minimal lane changes off, so it's gonna give FSD the most capability to change lanes on its own 6.9 miles 10 minutes on route we are heading to Lowe's Christy when you think of Lowe's what do you think of what's the first thing that pops in your mind lots of home improvement I love Lowe's I love Home Depot it's like some of my favorite stores <laughs> <laughs> and plants yes Plants. I have a green thumb. <laughs> yeah, we've been buying and some I plants. And I love having plants around the house. So I like to go to Lowe's and look at all the different types of plants they have and flowers. And it makes me happy. No, it's amazing. Yeah, everybody, I was telling Christy she should be doing these full self-driving videos for me. What do you guys think? Leave me your feedback below. I'd love to hear what you think. So we got 75 off speed offset on our speed. And if you go into navigation or autopilot, I believe the setting is in here. You actually can't change it unless you're in park, but the automatic set speed does not pertain to the freeway right now. Only for the city streets. I cannot wait till you can till FSD is controlling the speed everywhere. It'll get you on the freeway, it's handling all the speed. That's when it becomes really, um, all right, get on some throttle there. All right, change the lanes to move. So what happened here is the car to the right was trying to merge into our lane. So FSD was slowing down, being cautious. And at that point, it changed us into the left lane. We got some rocks coming off of this concrete truck, which I do not like. Neither do I. Yep. When you're on the freeways in Las Vegas, you really gotta be careful with all the rock trucks. Oh, absolutely. Look at all the smoke coming from one of the tractors back there doing work. No. I don't like that either. No, some major pollution. Yeah, bad for the environment. 
I want to say one of the first things I noticed when I started driving electric vehicles was that when I'm behind cars and I can smell the gas and the fumes, I really started getting irritated by that. Uh, you know which ones bother me the most is diesel. The diesel, I don't know yeah. Why, but just the, the smell of it, just, I, well, there are some vehicles that are pretty. All right, now we have our exit for the freeway, which on this version and, and, and on 12.3.6, it loves to miss this. We're in the far left lane. We got to get over quickly in half a mile. Let's start initiating lane changes if it doesn't. So FSD did initiate the first lane change. Let's see if it initiates another one. Go ahead and put in the minimal lane changes right now. Yep, go back to assertive minimal lane changes. Yep, boom, boom. And then let's go ahead and initiate another one as we we're getting close. Right blinker. And let's go ahead and do one more initiate. And the only reason we're initiating everybody is because we've missed this exit so many times. All right, initiate one it's more time. It's gonna do all right, it right now. now. All right, yeah. Perfect. It did. It failed to get into the right turning lane. Yes. All right, go ahead and re-engage. It does that every single time there. Yep, and also right here, it's like, where does yes. it choose the fork? It goes kind of the right, kind of to the left. Yep. And as we were talking about the other day, it's like the more and more you use FSD, the more you kind of get used to its little errors in certain areas so you can pay more attention, right? But the thing is in the future, it's gonna be driving so well everywhere all the time that that's when the complacency will kick in. That's when you'll forget how you got there. Like who just drove us here? <laughs> that will be. We were having that discussion just the other night, yeah. yeah. All right, don't disengage, let's let it do it. Yeah. yeah, you almost want to. I feel it because you're kind of getting close. And didn't we have yes. a, an issue last night where we were coming about 50? It was coming in very hot. Yeah, so we were actually yes. on this spaghetti bowl heading right. north, and it was coming in so hot into the flyover that we got a little worried. All right, we are kind of going slow here. Let's go ahead and goose on the throttle a little bit. I'm gonna push on the speed limit sign again to, because it was showing, all right, you can stop now, but it was showing 35, so whenever you touch the speed limit sign, it'll boost it back up. And again, that's another problem with B11 stack, so be cautious on the freeway, everybody, for speed limits. If you feel the car slow down, instantly check your speed because most likely that's what it is. We're still seeing a couple of phantom errors, you know, on the freeway where it kind of hits the brakes going under some passes sometimes, but nothing major right now, but mainly the speed control. Coming around uh, spaghetti bowls, flyovers, interchanges. All right, so 0.8 of a mile, heading to Durango, heading to Lowe's. And what I love about Lowe's is all the plants, like you said, Christy. <laughs> I love plants. I do. I love growing plants, nurturing plants. All right, we're in the exit lane. So far, so good. 0.3 of a mile till our turn. We do have the Uniden R8 on board. Radar detector. And I just want to say, since they updated the lighting on this newest update, it gets extra bright. It does. I love this new version of it, yes. I didn't think it would get extra bright, but knowing Elon, I knew he was going to turn it up <laughs> because we wanted more brightness. All right, we're merging over. So this could be an error here. We did put our blinker on. We were about to change lanes, but we want to be in this lane. So, so far, so good. Let's see how it manages this turn. And then we're going to want to get into our left lane almost immediately after the turn. Perfect. Very nice. Very good, yep. Yeah. One more turn here. Let's see if it gets in. Now, ideally, I'd be like to be in the far left lane, but a lot of times it does put us into this middle lane. Yeah. So what this sets us up for is that when we go around the turn, we have to be assertive and aggressive and get into that left lane. Normally, it's uh, pretty easy, but we'll see how it does. All right, we got the protected left arrow. So let's see how we do here. Really, it's all about precision here coming around the turn kind of holding that lane line but now we're gonna have to merge over we got a little bit of a gap between these two cars let's see oh here yeah. we go yeah now it's getting asserted very good nice. speeding up very nice one thing about the human beta drivers behind us is they are a little bit slow to react <laughs> so it does give us the opportunity to be aggressive and always yes. merge in i've noticed <clears throat> all right left turn coming up don't go yet. We've got quite a few cars. It could have been assertive and went there. If I know sometimes I've done that, but it's a little, yeah. little aggressive. 
So after this Sentra, I think we're clear. FSD is getting the wheel cocked up. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. That assertiveness, that preparedness. Yes. It's kind of taking the initiative. And yeah, interesting. It's very nice. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Christy, what are the last words for the day? What do you think? How do you think this drive went? Very smooth. Very well. Uh, minimal. Very minimal issues. I don't think we did we even have one. I don't think we disengaged at all. I don't think we even all. did. Yeah, yeah, no. It was great. With that being said, everyone, have an amazing day. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.